good evening, and thank you all for coming to listen to my speech. Um, do any of you in here have high blood pressure or know someone that has high blood pressure? Or do a loved one take medication for your high blood pressure? Wouldn't you like to know how to take your blood pressure by yourself at home? Well, you're in luck because I'm going to show you today how to take your blood own blood pressure. Um, the CDC states that hypertension in the U.S. costs over $47.5 billion annually in medical expenses. Therefore, high blood pressure is becoming a problem here in the U.S., and more people need to be informed on how to manage their blood by taking their blood pressure at home and changing their diet habits. Since I'm becoming a nurse, I have an interest in people, keeping people healthy and teaching them about how to take their own blood pressure, to manage their own blood pressure, and what to do if their blood pressure values are high or low. The main points I will be talking about today are the supplies needed, how to take your blood pressure, and the normal values. The supplies that you will need is a blood pressure cuff and a stethoscope. And to put on the blood pressure cuff, obviously it's easier to sit down to put it on. And you want to first feel for your pulse in your arm. And that's where you want to put the bell of your stethoscope, which is this part right here. And that's where you want to put it to listen for your blood pressure. So you want to feel for your pulse. And um, um, now the blood pressure, it actually is the force against the walls of your arteries through that your heart pumps blood through your body. Um, the top number is called your systolic pressure and that's the force of blood against the artery walls, and the bottom number is called your diastolic pressure, and that is the force between um, the heartbeats. Um, you wanna pump up the blood pressure cuff and let out the air by opening the airflow valve counterclockwise, which is this valve right here. You wanna listen for the first pulse beat, and that's actually your systolic pressure, and whenever it first starts beating, and your diastolic pressure is whenever all the sound stops, and that's, you wanna read the number on the gauge of your blood pressure. Um, normal blood pressure range is greater or less than 120 and less than 180. Prehypertensive is 120 to 139 and 80 to 89. And hypertensive is greater than 140 and greater than 90. Now, to check your blood pressure, you put the stethoscope in your ears, put the bell stethoscope on your arm, and you want to pump up the blood pressure. Now, if your normal blood pressure is like 120 over 80, then you'd want to pump it up 30 more. So you'd want to pump it up to 150. So you put it on here and you pump it up. And you want to let the air out slowly. And mine was 108 over 78. All right, now if you check your blood pressure and your blood pressure is high, that's considered hypertensive. And sometimes you, what's scary about that is that you have no symptoms at all unless you feel your heart racing or something like that. But you can develop heart and kidney problems without even knowing that you have high blood pressure. And so if your blood pressure is high, and after you're done working out or something, your blood pressure will be high. So you want to wait a little bit. And if it's like consecutively high all day long or for a couple days, you want to call your health care provider so that they obviously know. But usually if you have high blood pressure, you're predisposed to it and other people in your family have it. So your health care provider is usually on top of that whenever you go get your yearly checkups. Now, if you have low blood pressure, which is less than 90 and less than 60, over 60, less than 60, you should sit or lie down immediately and raise your feet above the um, level of your heart. So you want your feet raised obviously above like your heart and head level. And if you are another person that they're checking their blood pressure and their blood pressure is low and they pass out, you obviously want to call 911 and if they stop breathing, then you want to do, or have no pulse, you want to do CPR. Um, and I also have here the pass out that has the normal blood pressure ranges, prehypertensive, hypertensive, and the low blood pressure ranges. that's for you. And um, high blood pressure is becoming more common in people and one in three Americans have high blood pressure and are being treated for high blood pressure as stated in my medical surgical nursing book. And so today you learn how to take your own blood pressure manually and learn the normal blood pressure readings and when to seek medical help for an abnormal reading. 
So, does anybody have any questions? No? Great job. All right. Thank you all for coming and listening to my thing. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone wait and say hello. I'm to see what the movie is. I'm to see what the movie is.